Will the elevation change on the shorter shots, 40 yard shots, 50 yard shots? You know, will that maybe be the really trouble area where they've got to land the ball in a small area? And they, in most instances, these guys are good enough to do that from a short distance. How is the elevation going to affect those really short greenside shots? So the the percentage takes care of the math at 200 yards and 100 yards. But this is a great question. If you're pitching from 50 yards in thinner air, you're not going to be able to spin the ball as much. So you're going to, you're going to have to practice at elevation. So some of the guys that we hear a lot of chatter about are guys that live out here in the mountain areas, whether it's Utah, whether it's here in Denver. I mean, those are the names that are really popular this week because they're used to playing those types of shots or guys that go to Tahoe a lot, you know, guys that tend to travel to elevation because it, it is a very thoughtful question, Len. The, the ball will not, it doesn't have as much air to grab. Okay. So it's tougher for the guys to spin it as much and it is tougher to give it lift without giving it more speed. Well, a lot of those touch shots in and around the greens, 30 yards, 50 yards, 70 yards, where, they, where you really see those guys control their arm speed, the delivery speed of the club head into the ball, they're used to a certain level of spin where the ball goes boom, boom, grabs, right? Well, that's going to be a little bit different this week. So the elevation isn't as much an adjustment factor for length at 50 yards. It is more about finding where you're going, where, where your spots are and, and managing all of the rollout.